Well, good afternoon, good morning, or wherever you are in the world. What a great opportunity we have to be on the prayer line again. Today is Wednesday, August 9th. Yes, August 9th. Had to think about it for a moment. But we welcome you to the call on today, and we are so thankful that you joined us and you're going to agree with us in prayer and if you listen to the call at a later uh, time, we also say thank you so very much. We know that people live busy lives, but we also know that prayer is powerful and it is such a privilege uh, that God has extended to us to come boldly to his throne of grace. Our format will be a little different for today. I want to do something a little different. And that is basically share words of encouragement and then we'll pray and our focus prayer today will just be, well not just be, but will be a prayer of thanksgiving. Yes, we're not going to ask God for anything. I know his words say make our requests known to him, but today we are just going to give God praise, honor and glory and express our thanks to him for being our God and for being so faithful and true and for being sovereign. And uh, I want to share words of encouragement that speaks to persistence in prayer. Yes, persistence in prayer. And I know it's easy to get tired of praying for something or even for someone as intercessors or whatever it is that we're praying for on behalf of others. I know that it can get exhausting and it can become tired when you don't see any results. When it appears that your prayers are not being answered and nothing is changing for the better, sometimes even as the people of God, we can become discouraged. But today I want to encourage the listeners and say to you, if you are praying and believing God, if you have been praying for any length of time and you don't see any results, I want you to be encouraged and I want you to continue praying. The scripture says, pray without ceasing. Always maintain a prayerful attitude. Never give up on God. The passage of scripture that I want to share with you from is Luke 18 verses 1 through 8. And we'll read that. But um, I just want to, you to continue to pray. If you're praying for someone's life to be changed, sometimes it appears that their behavior gets worse, but don't stop praying. If you're praying for someone's healing and it seems their condition worsens, keep praying, keep believing God, standing on God's word. Perhaps you may be praying for financial breakthrough and sometimes it seems that the struggle becomes even greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when your prayers are seemingly ineffective, it will make giving up easy, especially for beginners or newborn believers, a person who hasn't established a consistent prayer life. But I want, again, to encourage you, don't stop praying, even if you see no results immediately. Keep believing God and be persistent. Make a note of this if you can. Uh, remember this, persistence in prayer is your demonstration of your faith in God. Persistence in prayer is a demonstration of your faith in God. And hear what Jesus taught the disciples in the parable of the persistent widow. It's found in Luke, the 18th chapter. And he says, 
uh, it says rather in Luke, Luke recorded it. He says, then he spoke a parable, Jesus that is, to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. That's men or women. It's not gender focused. Saying there was a certain city, in a certain city, a judge who did not fear God nor regard man. Now there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying, Get justice for me from my adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Though I do not fear God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. Then the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. And shall God not avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? And so Jesus gave this, this parable, this illustration to teach persistence in prayer. This widow was steadfast in her course of action in spite of the judge's obstinate attitude and his actions. She believed that her request would be granted in spite of what it appeared like. So she continued to go. She continued to go to the judge. And the focus here is on uh, God being a just God. Even though the judge was unjust and did not fear God, this widow understood that she had a legitimate cause and that God himself, even in the Old Testament, when you look it up, that God has made a promise and he wants the widows to be taken care of. And as the children of God, God has made promises to us that he would never leave us nor forsake us. And so on the basis of God being just, hallelujah, God being holy and God being righteous, we should continue to go to him in prayer, believing and trusting that he is faithful. He is just. He's going to do what's right. Hallelujah. The scripture says no good thing will he withhold from them that walk upright. So if you're living according to God's word, believing, walking in obedience to God's word, giving him praise and glory and honoring him, recognizing him, praying and believing him, he will answer your prayer. But you cannot give up. You must persist. You must keep coming. So after Jesus finished the illustration about the unjust judge and the persistent widow, the principle is clear. It is very clear. He points out a spiritual truth that God will answer. He will answer speedily when we are persistent, but we cannot allow unbelief to blur our vision and our perception of God being faithful. It is God who is responsible for the results. We are responsible for praying and believing his word. He will bring about justice. But Jesus asked the question, will he really find faith on the earth when he returns? So in other words, we cannot stop believing God. We must continue to trust God. He says, have faith in God. Our faith must be in God and that his will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So whatever it is that you're petitioning God for, know that we have the confidence in 1 John 5 and 14 and 15 says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hear us. And we know that if he hears us, we have the petition granted that we have asked. And so this is what's so, so important, that whatever it is we're praying for, it has to be in agreement with God's will. 
How do we know what God's will is? It is revealed in his word. That's why it's so important that you pray the word. When you're praying, when you're petitioning God, make sure that what you're asking is in alignment with his word, his will, and he hear us. And the scripture says that if we know that he hears us, we know that we have the petition granted that we have asked. It may not be when we want it to happen. The results may not come when we want or when we think they ought to come. But trust God. He knows. He has his own set time to reveal or to manifest what it is that we're asking for. Sometimes it happens immediately and sometimes it does not. But most important, remember, dearly beloved, remember that God is sovereign and he hears the prayers of the righteous. He will answer. He said in Jeremiah 33 and 3, call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things that you did not know. So my encouragement to you today is persist. Stay in the face of God. Don't stop praying. Don't stop believing God. Hallelujah. Because he is faithful. The scripture says he is faithful even if we are unfaithful. He cannot deny himself. Hallelujah. So remember, pray according to God's word, God's will. And when you do that, hallelujah, you can rest assured that God will answer. God is faithful. God is just. And just as the widow continued to go to the judge, the unjust judge, and he did not fear God, nor did he regard man. Hallelujah. But there comes a time when you just stay in the face of God, regardless of what other people are saying or doing, no matter what you're facing, whatever challenges you are facing, know that God is just. And he will answer. But you must persist. You must continue to seek God. Stay in the face of God. Hallelujah. Believe God. Amen. So we just want you to be encouraged. I just believe that this will minister to somebody that will hear this uh, call, this broadcast on today. And it will minister to them right where they are. Because God knows what we need to hear and what he wants us to know and to understand at any given time in our life. And so our prayer focus today. Again, is be persistent in prayer, and we just want to be thankful, thankful to God. So, as I conclude with the with the uh, the parable, let me just say this: faith drives us to be persistent in prayer. We should remain steadfast in faith to pray until we get the results. And remember, God is responsible for the results. So we are to continue to pray until we see the results or until God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The principle that you must apply, although you see no immediate changes or answers to your prayers, is persistence in prayer is a demonstration of our faith in God. Hallelujah. So we pray that this bless you on today. So let's just pray our prayer of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so very much. We come to you in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. We come to you with a heart of thanksgiving today. Thanking you for all the good in our lives. For you are the creator of all good things. And you are the giver of every good and perfect gift. Thank you, Father. We thank you today just because you are good and you're worthy. We praise you because you are good and you're worthy. Your mercy endures forever. You are great and mighty and awesome and wonderful in all your ways. Hallelujah. Your works are marvelous in our eyes and we give you praise. We thank you just because you are good. You are good. God, you are sovereign. We thank you because you have allowed us to see this new day. We thank you because we have the breath. Hallelujah. 
in our lungs. We thank you. It is your air that we breathe. We thank you for another opportunity to come boldly to your throne of grace and to obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. We even thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, especially, Father, for Jesus, your only begotten Son. Thank you because we have access to your throne of grace. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. We thank you for every challenge. We thank you, hallelujah, even for trials and triumphs because we know that you are working good in us. We know that you are conforming us to the image of your dear son. And so, Father, we can say thank you. Thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Thank you that you meet us where we are. Thank you that in your presence is the fullness of joy. And in your presence, we are complete and healed and made whole. Thank you, Father, for healing. Thank you for your word that declares by your stripes, Lord Jesus, we are healed. Thank you that every need is met because you promised in your word that you supply all our needs. So we thank you for meeting our needs. We thank you for supplying our needs. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We give you praise and we give you glory. We honor you and we reverence you. Our requests are not any anything today, but just to give you praise. Hallelujah. And even those requests that we are not speaking out, you know what they are. So we just say thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for hearing our silent request. Thank you for hearing our unspoken request. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. We give you glory and we give you honor and we bless your holy name. Thank you for your presence because it is your presence that we need. Thank you, Father, for looking down on our frailties. Thank you, hallelujah, for knowing that we are dust and we are frail, but you look beyond our faults and you see our needs. And so we say thank you. We know that you inhabit the praises of your people. So we say thank you. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. We are so very grateful. Thank you, hallelujah that in you we live and we move and we have our being. Thank you for your son that died on the cross for us. Thank you that he rose from the grave. Thank you that we are victorious. Thank you that you always cause us to triumph in Christ. Thank you that we are more than conquerors. Thank you. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are so grateful. Thank you for your presence even now. Thank you that yokes are being destroyed even now. Thank you for deliverance coming even now. Thank you for burdens being lifted now. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for release. Hallelujah. Releasing your will. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for saving loved ones. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for healing now. Thank you that your healing virtues are flowing even now. Thank you for the healing streams that are flowing now through physical bodies. Thank you, oh God. We give you praise and we give you glory and we honor you and we bless your name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, our holy God, our righteous God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, we bless your name. We give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you, oh God, that you look beyond our faults and you saw our need for a Savior. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for picking us up. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you, oh God, for freeing us. Thank you for setting us free. Thank you, oh God. Thank you. We thank Thank you. We thank you. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for your will being done in our lives. Thank you, Father, that you put a yes in our spirit. Yes, you put a yes deep down in our soul. Thank you. Thank you that you put a yes that we can say yes to your will. Thank you for drawing us. Thank you. Thank you for drawing us to you. Thank you. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for pricking our hearts. Thank you, oh God, for nothing 
anointing us. Thank you, O oh God, for your Holy Ghost. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, our comforter. Thank you for being our advocate. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you for the times we wanted to give up. Hallelujah. But you said not so. Thank you for picking us up. Thank you, O oh God, for putting within us a determination. Thank you for giving us desires of your heart. Thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you. Thank you that you position us in heavenly places in Christ. Thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you that you have given to us a measure of faith. Thank you, O oh God, that we do not walk by what we see, but you have given us eyes. Hallelujah. To see in the spirit realm and to know that you are for us. Thank you for being for us. And we know that if you be for us, who can be against us? Thank you, O oh God for being on our side. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. That no matter what we see, we trust you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. We are so grateful. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for lifting our heads. Thank you for lifting our burdens. Thank you that we can come boldly to your throne of grace. Thank you that we can cast all our cares on you because you care for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God, we thank you today. We thank you for breakthrough. We thank you, oh God. We thank you. We thank you for those that have not accepted you, that even now there's a break. There's a shift in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. We thank you that your word is being released. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for opening our understanding to know that praise is a weapon. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't thank you enough. If we could speak 10,000 languages, it still would not be enough to give you the praise, the glory, the honor, and the reverence that's due your name. Oh, how we worship you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. Hallelujah. We worship you. We bow down to you. We humble ourselves under your mighty hand and you will exalt us in due season oh god we thank you we thank you that you do not allow us to grow weary in well doing thank you thank you that you keep us thank you that you keep our minds hallelujah we thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding we thank you for your peace today we thank you and we give you praise we thank you for joy joy that's unspeakable we thank you for strength today, uh, that we can keep going. Uh, we thank you for courage today. Uh, we thank you, oh God. We thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you that you receive our worship. We thank you that you glory. Hallelujah. In our praise. We thank you that you release. You open the heavens. Hallelujah. When we praise you, we thank you that the angels are dispatched. Hallelujah. And they hasten to perform your word. Even when we just give you praise and worship. Because you know what we need. If we just praise you. If we just approach your throne of grace with thanksgiving, hallelujah, you bring results and we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for hearing the cries of your people. We thank you and we give you glory today. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. 
Oh, we bless your name. 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 We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah. That burdens are released. We thank you and we give you glory today. We thank you for a lifting of the heads. Hallelujah. Those whose heads are bowed down. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you for a release. Hallelujah. For your peace. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God. Today we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. And we glory in you. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Our great God. None like you. None like you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. For your written word that instructs us and comforts us. Thank you. Hallelujah. For your salvation through a faith in Jesus Christ. And above all, Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the victory that we have in you. We are so very grateful. We are so very grateful. Our hearts are filled with gratitude because you are our God and you didn't leave us where we were. We were in sin. Oh, sin, hallelujah, had dominion over us. We were slaves to sin, but you delivered us and we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, oh God. We thank you. And we thank you, Father, that the good work that you have begun in us, you will complete it to the day of Jesus Christ. So we thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for opening the eyes of your people that they would know, hallelujah, just how much you love us. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father, that the eyes of our understanding being enlightened, that we would know what is the hope of your calling. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. That we would know, hallelujah, hallelujah, that the power of the Holy Ghost is available to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for every good and perfect gift. We give you praise and we give you glory. Hallelujah. And we seal this prayer of thanksgiving in the name of Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Our Savior, our soon coming King. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for being our hope. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so, once again, we say thank you, hallelujah, for joining in on the prayer call. Thank you. Thank you, hallelujah. If you hear the prayer of thanksgiving at a later time, we thank God that you will receive what you need. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. And we bless you in the name of the Lord. And until our next prayer call or our next broadcast, Be prayerful, hallelujah. Be thankful. Use praise as a weapon against the enemy that comes to attack our minds and our bodies, hallelujah. In whatever area, use praise and thanksgiving as a weapon, hallelujah. And so that you will be conditioned to wait patiently as you persist in prayer. Hallelujah. Once again, we thank you for joining in on the call. Thank you for listening to the playback of the call. And again, until our next broadcast or our next prayer, be prayerful. Live powerful lives through faith in Jesus Christ. And know that God always calls us to triumph in Christ Jesus. So once again, thank you so very much. God bless you. You're released from the call.